making their voices heard. Good evening, I'm Matthew Rand. And I'm Angela Rygert. About 30 people spoke in opposition to proposed changes to Medicaid in Kentucky at a hearing today on the campus of Hazard Community and Technical College. That's right. Governor Matt Bevin wants the federal government to allow modifications to the Medicaid expansion enacted by his predecessor, Steve Bashir. Opponents told state health officials the overhaul is a step in the wrong direction. If the waiver is approved, the roughly 440,000 new Medicaid recipients could lose their coverage, which some at Wednesday's hearing say will have unintended consequences. As a mother of a seven-year-old, I know that if I can't take care of myself, I don't do a very good job taking care of my daughter. State health officials say the Medicaid expansion will cost Kentucky $1.2 billion over the next five years, something the Commonwealth cannot afford. In spite of the fact that we have actually spent a lot of money on Medicaid and we have over a third of our population enrolled in Medicaid, but we're not seeing that needle move. We're not seeing an improvement in health care outcomes. The plan would require, quote, able-bodied adults to pay monthly premiums of $1 to $15 and co-payments if recipients fail to keep up with payments. Opponents say those ideas have been tried elsewhere. And rather than increasing economic well-being, they're shown to reduce coverage and drive more people into deep poverty. Many also took issue with the part of the plan that drops vision and dental benefits unless Medicaid patients take part in a public service-based rewards program. What a mistake. So many health issues are the result of the failure to have dental care and conversely so many health related problems are recognized for the first time by the person's dentist. Uh, United Healthcare actually states that 15% of their covered diabetics were originally identified within their optometrist's office. The 30 day period for public comment on the governor's plan continues through July 22nd. If you would like to add your comments to the state record, we will add a link to this story, which you can find on WYMT.com.